June 6, 1994, being 9,497. It feels like I've been in front of the supercomputer for a quarter of a century. Preview, my friends, Sasha here. And today is June 6th, but it's 2020. And IFSCL Story Mode is finally here. This is gonna be a completely blind walkthrough. Um, you're probably actually gonna be seeing this on June 14th, because Emma said don't upload any story mode videos for the first few days, so yeah. What you're probably seeing tomorrow, which is last week, is the randomizer I'm doing. So, let's get into story mode. New game. Yep. Also, shout out to the Return to the Past podcast. That's also a good way to experience it. Now it's the hardcore fans. Several chronological inconsistencies. A few liveries establish current dates. Trying to explain at some point in the story. Fragmentary is not taken into account. Live action, novels, video games, and any resemblance on intentional. Aw, darn it, so... No volcano replica. Oh well. Yeah, watch the intro. Ooh. This is gonna be good. Oh, so that's how the chair works. That, I know what it is. Ooh. Oh, I think that's the neural headset. Chapter 1, Jeremy Awakens. Ooh. Dark and stormy night. Same as all stories should begin. There's that poster of his. Yeah, then. Um, I probably actually should have seen what those interaction buttons were. Oh, spacebar. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I probably should see these. Uh huh. And yep. Okay, what we got? Uh, 
Um, I mean, it says October 9th, so... Okay. Ah. A few weeks ago, I was hunting for parts to finish my miniature robots. Couldn't find anything here I could use, so I decided to go f look for scraps in the abandoned factory not far from the academy. Oh. Figured that I could find plenty of cool old mechanical stuff left inside that would be useful. I wasn't disappointed, it was unbelievable. Stumbled into some sort of complex with an entire computer lab with scanners, and especially this totally intense mainframe. For the moment, I haven't told anyone. It's my little secret. It's the coolest thing that has ever happened to me. And that wasn't all. That night, even though I was scared stiff, I decided to start up the supercomputer. It's been the best decision I've ever made. One other good decision I should do would be to sleep so much more. I thought I saw someone in front of me on the bridge. I don't know who. And I really hope nobody saw me leaving in the park. Oh. Few hours earlier. I don't need to sleep right now. Come on, Jeremy. This can wait. Okay. Uh, hi. Oh. So, this is the time frame of the prequel, but it sounds like something's changed. Oh, you two. What are you doing here? Sissy used up all the hot water on our floor. Came to see if you had hot water on the boys' floor, <laughs> of course. I knew, what are you doing? Are you going out? I have an extra free hour. It's one of the privileges of a fifth grade student, girls. Free hour. And you're not on your PC? That is suspicious. I'd say you're hiding something. Careful, Molly, we're very close to a scoop. <laughs> okay, I think it's shift to run or something? Yep. Ah. I bet all of these are not going to go anywhere. Okay. Oh, it's Jim. Ah, Jeremy. Still running around searching for scraps for your robots? Heh, <laughs> how do you know? I know everything, Jeremy. My eyes are everywhere. Anyways, happy to see you wandering outside rather than staying in a room behind your screen. Ouch. Laying out for half an hour. Be back in the dorms by then. Okay. Do you have anything over here? Okay. Darn lock, don't you want to open? Ah, <laughs> uh, good old gym. Closed. Ooh. Okay, may as well talk to Miss Hertz. Have a clear sky tonight, make sure you revise the constellations. Oh, it's Sorik and whoever this other one is. Bastion. Did you hear the news, Jeremy? There's a new guy that's going to sell in Ulrich's bedroom. Yep, this is definitely during the time of the prequel. What? What are you talking about? Didn't know, but the principal told to us this morning. He said at this soccer practice, right before our warm-up. It's not important, since when can new guys show up a month after the beginning of the school year? I know, dude, but you have a double bedroom. That was unavoidable. Nah, I'm sure you're joking. Oh, now work's gone. I left to clean his bedroom, alright? Hope the new guy isn't going to get on his nerves. Oh, you have no idea. Okay, I can't, can't go any further this way. Oh. Oh, Nicholas. 
What's your problem? Do you want to fight? Oh no, I'm just surprised to see you alone. Isn't Herb around? It's not far from you, usually. It's not your business. Herb made me swear not to tell you he was called by the principal. <laughs> I always keep my word. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> of course. Of course. And nothing this way. Ah, the old manhole. Eh. Nothing to worry about. It's probably someone who's trying to sneak out like me. Okay. Interesting. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Wait a minute. Okay. What is that? I, I should really get some sleep. Okay, Jeremy's on something. Jeremy's on something big. <laughs> okay, here's the little there. Alright. So, supercomputer level. Yep. Going down. Spinning in circles. And there it is. I shouldn't be standing on this. Okay, let's do this. Button. Engage. Oh, uh, hello. I should be able to use a supercomputer interface in the laboratory. And up we go. Ah. Ooh. Cool. And the chair folds out, too. Okay. Uh huh. Well, it looks like everything's booting up okay. Oh, uh. All right, it's booting. Xana Earthlink? I saw that one. Whoa. Uh, hi.
Ooh, there's that music. What's all this? A video game? Who are you? Where am I? Did you hear what I just said? Oh, yes, <laughs> of course. I see you too. Wow. <laughs> well then, dear artificial intelligence, I guess we're going to have a few things to talk about. <laughs> oh. Uh. Ah. Uh, what's your name? She doesn't know. Do you have a backup? I don't think I can even have one. Are there more like you? Not really. Do you have a version number? Not that I can think of. Patient date? Saturday, June 4th, 1994. June 4th? 6 p.m. Nine years ago. Suddenly incredibly precise. At least I know something. Connected to the internet? Through the data tower I'm in, yes. So much to learn. How can you talk to me? My world, I have an interface just like you. Face appeared in front of me. Like a mirror. What's your purpose? I, I guess protecting this place. Are you some kind of intelligent firewall? It's a firewall. Wait, now I know. Dent a few seconds ago, and now I know. So you can learn new things. Amazing! About my role here, I have some privileges. Like administer rights. Yes, and not in your airface, but in the virtual world. What do you know about the scanners? I think they can transfer someone, feel the connections through the cables. They lead to my world. Do you think you could transfer yourself? Appear in the scanners as a real person? No. There's something missing. A body? Yeah, I don't remember ever having one. Were you sleeping all along? Sleeping? I, I guess yes. You're worse than my mother's kid. <laughs> your what? What? My mother. Can't. Do you know who's your developer? Person that created you? Nothing. I think I created myself. That's even weirder. Where exactly are you? In virtual world. On the other side. Or as you suppose you're real. You're in the real world, right? Yeah, but you're real too. You sound human. Really? That's... I like that idea. See you later. CD installer remote supercomputer access. Okay. That sounds good. I'll leave their face then. I guess back to the... Ah, it's super late. Jim's gonna kill me if he finds me. I get back to the... I get back there quick. Nothing to do there. Oh, missed the, missed the door. Jim was over here. Did he get that fixed? Can't interact with it. Okay. There's lights on. Nicholas and Herb's bedroom. Probably nothing good. Oryx's bedroom. Probably cleaning his room. Jeremy's bedroom. Actually, did I see if there's anything this way? Yeah, there's not. Okay. Ah, CD reader. Put that in. Those are really giant glowy balls, though. 
Now I can go to sleep. Huh? Our control status installing program. Okay. All right. Still a dark and stormy night. Wait, why was it raining while I was in the park? Ah, there's Jim. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Hey, Jeremy, have you watched it? What? Watched what now? The movie. We're doing a poll. Everyone seems to say says it's the best of the saga so far. Which movie? You really do live in a cave, you know. Ah, no, I got it. The movie with the wizards in a school? Of course. Oh, that means they didn't watch it. What a shame. <laughs> Sorry, girls. I prefer more realistic movies. <laughs> ah. Oh, hey, they look familiar. Einstein, you're a genius. Your return to the past. It works. Oh. What's that? And what are you talking about? Don't you remember anything? You know, the disco ball and the spaghetti cables that attacked us? The disco ball? Yeah, and Loco on the supercomputer? You know all about Loco? But that's weird. Looks like the return time didn't quite work on him. What a day. I should ask Ilea for some advice. Okay. Uh, virtual communication. Ah. There you are. So, you don't remember Zao's attack at all? Not really. That return to the past is very effective. Guess you have to scan yourself on Loco to keep your memory intact. Yeah, I'm planning on doing that tomorrow night. First, I need to work on your materialization program. You're certain? Well, if you need help, don't hesitate to ask me. Oh, thanks. Part will be added in a later version of the game. Okay. Didn't realize that the scan took this long. Why isn't he also virtualizing himself? Like, to talk with Aelita? I don't know, maybe it's hard for him. He has a crush on her, but he prefers distance. Not good. If you have a crush, you go and talk to her and voila! Yeah, sure. Uh... Huh. So, how was it? First thing in the laboratory armchair. Just like math classes for me, then. I'd rather stay in bed than attend them. Getting upstairs to work on Leah's materialization program. How what? Ah, okay, that's typo. So, you don't give up that easily. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Jeremy almost got stuck in the scanner. Hey guys, Ali told me she has fault pulsations on Loco. She thinks it's it. Oh, it's definitely Xana. Speak of the devil. I'll go to the lab to transfer you. <sighs> I'm gonna lure it out. Odd, wait. Ah. Uh... Huh. Okay, that just happened. I'm unconscious. Okay. And alerts. Yep. Okay, I gotta wake her up. There we go. Fertilize me whenever you want. Okay. 
Well. Guess we're getting some Lyoko action here. <laughs> of course we are. All right. Locate friends. Yep. And send friends. Yep. I know this stuff. I'm time for next assault. Uh oh. Uh, the map. Okay, I gotta find where the tower is. Super scam? Unknown to man. Okay, uh. Loco Connect. Loco Connect VCOM. Probably have a conversation later. Alright. Okay, uh. Huh. I guess we gotta look. Forest? Wait, what am I thinking? V map I lead up. How's that outfit? It shouldn't be far from my lead up. There we go. Okay. Ice sector. There it is. Tower 9. Towering, targeting Tower 5. Here we go. Transfer, you me. Transfer, Ulrich. Uh, transfer on? He's not available. Scanner, you me. Scanner, Ulrich. Avert uh, to Ailita? Sure. Virtualization. Okay, let's follow Ailita then. Get out of the tower. Get tower nine. Well, this is very interesting so far. Also wondering if I should make this all one video or not. I probably will. Probably. Uh, the others are right behind, right? Okay, good. Well, all I can do at this point is dodge. Crabs down. Other crabs down. And we're good. Time before next assault. Yeah. I do like the music. It's nice. I'm also probably not going to be editing in the show music like I'm going to be doing for the randomizer videos. Because this may as well be just playing the game the way it's intended to be. And. Activate the tower. There we go. Divert them. Yep. Okay. Materialization you may. Materialization or Okay then. I think we shouldn't hesitate. Someone probably saw the sphere or got attacked by him. 
So I don't get why it would re-attack Sissy. It's not as if there's much brain to fry in the first place. <laughs> Ooh, press F to show specs. I too don't like Sissy, but we never know. Yes, we should be careful. I'll launch a return to the past. Hope you remember everything this time, Einstein. Can't see myself re-explaining the whole situation to you again. Ouch. Now this one, I know. Return to the past now. Oh, bother. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up. Hold up. 1975? Oh, hello, friends. Okay, then. Oh, <laughs> it still says in game time naked. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, obviously, see you guys in the next chapter, but also see you for more IFSCL randomizer in the meantime. So, until then, do Bernich, Ukraine. Do Bernich. Three, three minutes. I think I can make that be a single there.